Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you guys my August wrap up and I am so excited because I read 12 books. So yes, I read 12 books in the month of August and I am so excited that I got that many books read. Like you guys don't even know. If you've w watched my other like wrap ups and TBRs and whatnot, you have probably seen that I was in a kind of slump for the beginning of summer. And then in July, I read eight books, but some of those were like shorter books. Like I was trying to get back into the reading mood. But then this month, I read 12 books. And uh, I'm really happy with myself. So I'm gonna go over my stats real quick and then we're gonna talk about the books that I read this month. So if you don't wanna watch my stats, you can skip ahead, but I think that they're pretty cool. So I'm gonna talk about them. So in total, I read 5,107 pages, which is a lot of pages when you think about it. I read a lot of books that were over 300 pages, so a lot of a lot of longer novels were being read and then my star ratings I will break them down for you guys I had one 2.75 star one three star one 3.75 star four four stars and five five stars so it was a good reading month and then that average is about four point oh two stars or whatever so about a four star average for the month which that that's pretty good in my opinion. And then for my genres read, we had four thrillers, two graphic novels, three fantasy, one nonfiction, one sci-fi, and one contemporary. So it was a pretty wide mix of books this month. So I am pretty uh, content with myself. And I did finish my newts. So I am a Hogwarts professor. Yay, I did it. I am so excited. And I did mostly vlog for all of that experience. My last vlog I only filmed maybe like seven minutes total so I just decided not to post it but I did finish and I got all my books read so we will be talking about that as well as the other books that I read this month because I only had to read seven for the newt so obviously I read more. But I guess let's just get into these books because we have a lot and I don't remember which ones I rated what so we're just gonna go I guess and <laughs> talk about them as we talk about them. So I think I'm going to start first with the audiobook that I read this month and that was One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I just decided to start this audiobook on a whim because I was drawing the one day and I wanted to read but also do something else. So I picked out an audiobook on my Hoopla app, which is the app that I use for my library, and I started listening to it. As we started into the audiobook, I really didn't like it, and I was like, why am I still listening to this? I thought that our main character, Emma Blair, was not an enjoyable person in her younger years, which is what we start out. But then as I started to listen to more of it and get into the actual core plot of the story I started to enjoy it more and by the end I really really did enjoy it and I'm glad that I listened to it I because I was like 40% of the way through and I was like I don't know if I want to read this I might DNF it but then I was like I made it this far let's just keep going and I'm glad I did because I did thoroughly enjoy it and that was my first Taylor Jenkins read book so I am excited to read more of hers like Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and the Six those are on my CBR and I'm excited to read them and I end up giving this a, I'm pretty sure I give this one a four out of five stars. I decided to round it up to that because even though I had some issues with it in the beginning, I still did enjoy it and it made me feel a lot of emotions at the end and made me think. So I'm glad that I ended up liking it in the end and I might go back and revisit it in a physical copy one day because I just, maybe the audiobook wasn't uh, for me. Maybe that's why I didn't enjoy it as much. I don't know. But again, I still did rate it pretty highly. So maybe we'll just leave it at that and not revisit it. I don't know. And then I also read an ebook. Well, I read technically a couple ebooks, but this was the ebook that I read. Um, and that was my nonfiction book, which was Smoke Gets in Your Eyes or Tales from the C Crematory. And oh, I don't even remember who wrote that now. Crap. You'll see it on here. 
Um, but I have really wanted to read this book since I saw Natasha over at My Reading is Odd discuss this, I think it was like over a year ago, I don't know. Um, and then the one day I was on my like Amazon app and I saw that they have this thing called Prime Reading and it's like pretty much like an Amazon library so you can rent books um, and read them and it was on there. So I decided I was going to read that book and I also tied it into a little Instagram group we have going on where we're reading books every month um, for a theme. So I picked that one for that and I gave it five out of five stars. It was awesome. It was one of my favorite nonfiction books that I've ever read. It was just so cool to get that perspective of someone who works in that atmosphere and like I'm someone who thinks that that's cool anyway. So actually getting a first person account of it and just like her talking about it and how we see you know people being dead and like how we treat them and stuff is just so cool so I highly recommend that and if you have an Amazon Prime account then you can go read it on Prime um, for free so you should do that it was really good and it didn't take me long at all to read it and usually I don't like reading ebooks but that changed me like I had no issue reading that ebook so we might be having more ebooks in the future guys I don't and then I also read, like I said, two graphic novels and I did read them on my Hoopla app because um, they were accessible to me so I'm gonna use that. And they were the Saga book one and two. Um, guys, why have I been sitting on Saga so long? Because this is like my, it is tied for my absolute favorite graphic novel series ever with the, it being tied with Fables which I own. A lot of those I love that graphic novel series but I absolutely adore that series not just as a reader but as an artist like I love the art style and the story and the the topics that it brings up and discusses like family and war and all that stuff and it is just great so I technically what I read volumes one through six and then the last book has volume seven through nine in it um, and I was going to actually read all of Saga this month but my library app uh, only lets me rent out four rentals at, in a month and so I actually had rented another or borrowed I guess another audiobook that I was going to read and then I decided I didn't want to listen to that book as an audiobook so I wasted a credit pretty much but it's fine September is tomorrow so I can just binge it tomorrow and that'd be my first book of my September but yes I love 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 this series and I'm so glad that I've been reading it and I just like knowing that after book three it's going to be on hiatus for a while it's breaking my heart but I want to finish it so I'm going to but obviously I gave both of them five out of five stars and if you have not read Saga yet do it because it's great. And then I will talk about the arc that I read this month before I get into my newts uh, which thank you so much to the publishers for sending it to me because I loved it. <laughs> So that book was 29 Seconds by TM Logan and this is a thriller novel if you can't get the vibe from here. I read another TM Logan that was sent to me as an arc last year which is Lies and I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars and I adored it. So um, when I got this in the mail I was super stoked and I'm happy to report I enjoyed this one just about as much as that. This is about our main character Sarah who works at a university and the main boss that is over her is kind of a creep and he treats women like crap and so she is dealing with that because she is being targeted by him and one day she is leaving work and she sees these people pretty much trying to kidnap a little girl and she ends up stopping this kidnapping and because of that she gets caught up in some stuff and pretty much she gets offered to have revenge on anyone she wants if she wants it and so this kind of opens up the opportunity for her to be like do I want to have revenge on somebody is this something I want and she has 72 hours to decide and obviously whatever decision she makes is going to affect her future greatly um so I thought this was really action-paced I thought this was a great domestic thriller like 
it had lots of twists and ideas and I thought it was very unique which is something I always look forward to in a thriller and the twist at the end I did not see coming whatsoever so I really really enjoyed that and this does come out in September I believe September 9th September 10th excuse me so like two weeks from now so I definitely recommend you pick this up if you are into that kind of thriller from what I told you and if you haven't read TM's other book Lies I would also recommend that one highly because it was also freaking great with a great twist so let's start talking about the newts books <laughs> the first one I have to talk about is the book that I read for my E in Care Magical Creatures so a book that was under 300 pages and that was There Was an Old Woman by Hallie Efron so this follows our main character Evie and she has to go and take care of her mother's house while her mother is in the hospital and she befriends her mom's neighbor who is also an old lady <laughs> and uh, her name is Mina and it kind of just like revolves around their growing friendship and the stuff that's going on in the town and her mother being in the hospital all that fun stuff and as you can tell by me talking about this this was my 2.75 star of the month so this was my least favorite book that I read this month which I was kind of expecting not to like it that much because it didn't have very good ratings on Goodreads but the only reason I bought this at the thrift store was because it has my name in it. Evie's sister's name is Ginger and that's just cool so um I just thought this book was dry and the plot was not good and it was boring and it just was not my style so unfortunately I didn't really like it but I did get through it quickly so like at least it wasn't dragging on but it was still not like the best thriller I've ever read so I'm probably not going to keep this book but I'm glad that it helped me finish my newts and so I will be thankful for that at least. <laughs> The next book I have to talk about is one of my five star reads and it was for my E in Defense Kent's Dark Arts which was the prompt where you just had to think of the first book that comes to your head and that was the book you had to read. So for that I read Winter by Marissa Meyer and this was the conclusion to the Lunar Chronicles and oh, I read this in a day and I freaking love the Lunar Chronicles and this was a great conclusion and great time spent with the characters. This was the longest book I read this month. It's over 800 pages but it went by so quickly and I'm so glad that I finally finished it and I just love this series so much. So finally August let me finish this book and again it was five, five stars so obviously I recommend this series. Every book in the series has been five stars for me so if you haven't read the Lunar Chronicles yet you need to get on that. Uh, next I have another five star read and one of my new all-time favorite fantasy books and that is Truth Witch by Susan Denard. And this was for my History of Magic prompt uh, which was just I had to get an A and it was just to read a fantasy book so I picked Truth Witch and oh my goodness I love this world and the characters and how Susan Denard is creating the series and whatnot. So we follow our main characters, Sophia and Iswalt. Is Iswalt? Is, um, it's a lot easier to pronounce things in your head than out loud. And um, so Sophia is a truth witch and then Is is a thread witch. And so in this world we have like types of witches and that is pretty much the type of magic they have and it is awesome. I think that it is very unique type of magic system and with the world building and whatnot and I mean I just really really enjoyed this book and I didn't think I would like it as much because I've heard that people really like the series or people didn't really like it that much so I was a little worried going into it but we ended up getting a great book and I pre-ordered or not pre-ordered I bought Wind Witch right away and I am excited to read it um, because we just left off at a good point in here and I don't know I just really really enjoyed it so I definitely recommend Ruth Witch if you have not read it yet it's a great YA fantasy and it just has so many good things in it so I can't believe I've been sitting on this so long. <laughs> Next we have a thriller and that was An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lapina. This fulfilled my A in Care of Magical Creatures which was to read a book starting with the letter A and this one was really enjoyable in my opinion. Uh, we have a cast of characters that go to a an inn for a weekend getaway and a snowstorm hits and they're all kind of locked there without 
any contact with the outside world because it's like really far up it's so icy and whatnot and people just start dying and this really gives me clue vibes if you've seen that movie and I mean in a way you could probably relate it to The Shining too because they're in a hotel that is you know it's in the winter and it's secluded and all that stuff and I think that Sherry Lupina did a really good job of creating suspense and you know doing the stuff she did with the characters and it kept me intrigued the whole time. The ending the twist was cool but not necessarily my favorite and I overall really enjoyed this book but it's it's not one of my favorites of all time um so I did give this a four out of five stars and I'm still going to be keeping it on my shelf but again it wasn't my favorite of all time but it was still a really good thriller and I would still highly recommend this it was it was really good and then I read another Sherry Lapina book this month which was A Stranger in the House and this was for my A in Defense Against the Dark Arts. It was a 3D book with black under the dust jacket. There we go. Um, so this is obviously black under the dust jacket. Okay, yeah. So our main character gets in a car accident and she can't remember anything, but she was in a bad part of town and no one knows why she was there and she's usually a really good driver. So everyone was just confused and we're trying to figure out what happened pretty much and the events leading up to that accident and everything happen and considering I don't remember much about this book I'm sure you can tell I didn't really enjoy this one and I gave this three stars. It just lacked for me as a thriller. It it wasn't I didn't like any of the twists it brought. I didn't necessarily like the overall plot. Um, Sherry Lupina has a good writing style and I do enjoy that and I thought that her characters were pretty fine but just as a thriller overall I didn't really enjoy it so that's why it just got an average rating. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this copy, but I'm still glad that I read it because I wanted to read all of Sherry Lupina's books and give my opinion on them. And I remember when this was a big thing back in the, when it came out, so I, I, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't like it as much, but it was still fine. It was average. I didn't give it less than a three, so it is what it is, I guess. Second to last, we have the Di... The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid, which was for my divination prompt, which is to read a book with a white cover. So this was the sci-fi that I read this month, and this follows our main character, Nemesis, and she is a diabolic, which is pretty much like a genetically engineered person that has to be a bodyguard for someone, and they are enhanced to just connect to one person and pretty much guard them at all costs. And... I thought that that was cool and this is in obviously a sci-fi world where we're in space and everyone's on different planets and there's a like empire and all this stuff um but pretty much we have the empire decide that diabolics should, are outlawed and they want them all killed but this family does not kill nemesis because their daughter and her are really connected and then the daughter Sidonia is called to the empire and the family believes that it is to kill her so instead they send Nemesis in her place to protect her and everything just kind of goes from there and I really really did enjoy this book. I thought that it had a lot of similarities with Throne of Glass and it had some tropes in it but overall I thought it was a cool sci-fi book and I really did enjoy it. I gave it um, a four star I am on the fence on if I'm going to continue with the series or not. I liked where this was and how it ended, but it is going to be a trilogy as far as I'm concerned. So I don't know. I'm on the fence. But I did enjoy it and I would recommend it if you're looking for a sci-fi that has fantasy like elements like uh, from more popular YA fantasy books um, but that has a sci-fi element. I think this one is a good transition from a fantasy to sci-fi book if you're looking to get into more sci-fi so that is that book. And then the last book that I read for my newts was for my O in Care of Magical Creatures which was to read a book with a bird on the cover and that was A Crown of Feathers by Nikki Palparito. I honestly didn't think I was gonna like this book going into it. I had started I tried starting to read it back in June and I was going to buddy read it with my friend Amber and I didn't really get into it. But then, obviously, I had to read it for the newts, so I started um, back into it, and I did finish it. And I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, at first, in the beginning, I was not convinced that I was going to like it. 
but the animal magic is something that I really enjoy because like I love animals so um I wanted to you know just give it a try and as the book went on we I really did enjoy more of it and the only part that I like didn't really like was um we have a character's perspective in here that like I it adds to the story and I know why it's in here but I was bored reading it so um but our main character is Veronica and she is an animage and she gets a phoenix um and she's with her sister and they try to hatch phoenix eggs but only one of them hatches and she gets bonded with this phoenix. She wants to be a dragon rider and pretty much animages are put into slavery and all the dragon riders from the past have been killed and all this stuff um so it's kind of just about her journey to be a, dra er, a dragon a phoenix rider and how you know there might there might be a rebellion or there might be one of those plots where we're, we're getting this this bad empire or this bad monarchy whatever it is and we're gonna rise back up you know one of those tropes um this is going to be a series i think and it did leave off on the point where we have questions that would like to be answered but if i'm actually going to pick up the sequel i am unsure like I said, I did enjoy this more than I thought I would, but there is a lot of tropes in it. There is a lot of ideas that I'm like, mm, I saw that coming and it wasn't really surprising. So I don't know. I don't know. But I am glad that I did like it more than I thought it was going to because it made it a better journey. So those are all the books I read this month. That was a lot. This is going to be a longer wrap up because I actually read something. <laughs> I am so glad that I read a lot of books that I really enjoyed this month because I have been needing this. I have been needing to get back into the reading mood and obviously I am so stoked to continue reading into the following months. I am back in my reading groove and the newts really really helped me get back into that and I just I'm so glad about all the books that I read this month even the ones I didn't like as much because I mean I didn't have anything less than a two star so that's great in my opinion and we had lots of five stars so that's my wrap up <laughs> um let me know in the comments below what you guys read in August I would love to hear I would love to hear if you finished your newts what your profession is if you did that route and I just I'm so I'm just obviously so excited that I read this many books this month so uh let me know how many you read because I will be equally excited for you no matter how many books you read this month but thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more of my videos in the future but until my next video I will see you guys then bye